terms of India's energy situation, we have 500 million people in the middle class in Asia today. By 2020, that number is going to be 1.75 billion people, and that's going to be the biggest demographic shift in our lifetime. It's a challenge not only for industry, it's a challenge for regulators, it's a challenge for all of us. How do you balance the critical aspects, which is supply, generation, efficiency, sustainability? For the first time in history, we're bringing together the power of hardware with software to really change the way energy happens. I just figured, what if we could take the power of IT and data and make a difference? What if we could make machines stop? What if we could predict failures in machines before it actually happens? We develop our control center. We then collect tons of data every second live from the turbine via satellite on the cloud. We now have scientists analyzing this data every day, writing algorithms to be able to predict what's going to happen. We can predict failures in machines and turbines, and solar farms and wind farms many, many hours before it actually happens. So now what you're doing is giving the power of data in a friendly visual analytical way. People can monitor their entire fleet all over the world from their laptop or from their iPad or a cell phone. I am excited about this field that we can really transform the way energy is produced and consumed going forward to provide over a billion people energy 24 hours a day. That's where the game is changing for all of us, given the fact that we have hundreds of million people in India don't have electricity and don't have access to electricity. What made us so successful was all about the people. If you can attract the best people into the company and motivate them, you create magic.